A black hole is usually a place in space where no light exists, making it all but impossible to capture on film. It is the first and only black hole ever photographed. The most widely accepted explanation is the Big Bang Theory. Something has been traveling through space at nearly light speed for millions of years. Galaxy pairs are frequently separated by millions of light years. On the other side, gravity can compactly arrange clusters of hundreds to thousands of galaxies. When entire galaxy clusters are too near to one another, gravity might cause them to become trapped and unable to move away. Scientists just discovered this while researching the universe. This results in highly destructive collisions. What has been found most recently? If you want to learn everything there is to know about this powerful force that has been circling the universe for millions of years, stick with us till the very end. Welcome to Space Nomad, and today, with the James Webb Space Telescope, let's peer into how James Webb's telescope just detected a massive structure in space. Our solar system is just one of the many parts that make up the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy's name is derived from a description of how it appeals to Earthlings. The Milky Way appears to be a hazy band of light in the night sky from our vantage point, and the individual stars of the Milky Way seems to be indistinguishable from the human eye. Our galaxy is a component of the nearby galaxy cluster known as the Virgo Supercluster. This cluster is one of the member clusters of the Laniakea Supercluster. Numerous astronomers believe that the Milky Way is joined by several other galaxies. There are at least as many planets as there are stars in the Milky Way, which is thought to have between 100 and 400 billion stars. Recent discoveries from a team of specialists revealed that the oldest stars in the Milky Way are as old as the universe. One of the most precise photographs of a powerful shockwave ever acquired was revealed to the globe in a brand new study that was published in the Journal of Astronomy and Astrophysics in February 2022. The intriguing galaxy cluster Abel 3667 is named after the collision of two groups of galaxies, which gave rise to the cluster. 550 separate galaxies may be found in Abel 3667, and they are all gradually combining to form a gigantic cosmic soup. Scientists have discovered a huge shock wave that was caused by the merger of these two galaxy clusters. Most telescopes are unable to see this cosmic collision right now, but it has left a massive disruption wave in the area. It's been described by experts as a giant shock wave that can only be seen at radio frequencies and is coming from both ends of the merging cluster. Large magnetic field lines and areas where electrons are accelerated are indicated by the position of complex patterns of light filaments that are woven into the waves. Although the shock wave has only recently been discovered, it has long existed. The two galaxy clusters that comprise Abel 3667 collided roughly a billion years ago, essentially exploding it into existence at that time. A colossal amount of energy is unleashed when two galaxy clusters unite. This is because galaxy clusters are among the universe's most massive, gravitationally bound structures. According to researchers, the highest single energy discharge since the Big Bang occurred during this event. When the clusters collided one billion years ago, a wave of electrons was released. These particles are still traveling at the astounding speed of 1,500 kilometers per second. These particles produce radio waves as they move across magnetic fields. Radio signals were picked up by Dr. Gasparin and his team through the Meerkat, but they weren't enough to fully describe the shockwave. Another observatory that spent time studying Abel 3667 was XMM Newton. You may see the core white color if you look attentively at the photograph of Abel 3667. Although there are 550 distinct galaxies in this cluster, the red colors on either side are caused by shock waves that were created when the supercluster was forming. This finding is seen as a paradigm shift 
in the field of research into galaxy cluster mergers. Sometimes, scientists are more perplexed by the lack of everything than by the unexpected existence of something. We now know that the bulk of galaxies is found in the form of filaments, which are wrapped throughout the universe. Since then, countless thorough maps of the universe have been created. There are large voids with few galaxies in between these filaments. These voids make up about 80% of the observable cosmos, with the majority of them measuring between 30 to 300 million light-years across. Since the Bootes is one of the largest voids in the universe, it is also known as the Super Void. The XMM-Newton X-ray Telescope Multi-Unit Spectroscopic Explorer on the Very Large Telescope and the Subaru Telescope were utilized by an astronomy team from the University of Alabama Huntsville under the direction of Chong Ge. They found a massive cloud of hot, faintly glowing plasma in space that is much larger than the Milky Way galaxy. This unique cosmic gas cloud was likely to cut off from a galaxy. The astounding revelation was that this cloud had remained congealed for hundreds of millions of years, as opposed to dissipating. The study team concluded that the cloud was significantly larger than they had anticipated after analyzing the X-ray emission. They estimate that this cloud has a mass that is nearly 10 billion times greater than that of the Sun. The analysis determined that this cloud is an orphan and that its temperature ranges from 10,000 to 1 billion Kelvin. The moving cloud was thought to have been torn from a galaxy because of its temperature, which is similar to a gas found within galaxies. Dr. Ming added that the cloud was found in the Abel 1367 or Leo Galaxy Cluster, which has about 70 galaxies and is situated roughly 300 million light years from Earth. The gas clouds had long since left their galaxy, but the scientists were curious as to why they had not dispersed. They predict that a magnetic field can hold the gas cloud steady against the instabilities for a considerable amount of time. Based on the size of this cloud, it's fair to assume that the galaxy from which it separated was also very large. The research team believes that this cloud will aid them in their search for the parent galaxy. This knowledge will help researchers spot related clouds in the future. This observational data on clouds support the idea that gas can be removed from galaxies by the intracluster medium. These and other discoveries provided scientists a glimpse of the cosmos' early appearance, but the continued unlocking of space's mysteries is unsettling since it shows how little we understand about the immense universe that surrounds us. So, what do you think of this discovery? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below about Webb's incredible job at revealing fresh information. Thanks for watching Space Nomad. Do subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for the latest content.